Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so I got a great email, or shall I say comment, from Happily Smitten. I don't know your name, your real name, but um, this is what your YouTube name is. And um, she said, or he said, I appreciate your videos as a nursing school hopeful. I've been told that nursing students are exhausted through the entire process. Do you have any thoughts on keeping the momentum and energy levels up through nursing school? I'm purely exhausted from studying for my entrance exams and seem like once I start the program, I'll be dragging even more. Thank you so much for asking me this question. I really wanted to respond to you with a video because I'm really passionate about this. And honestly, I don't um, get that question a lot, so I figured this is my opportunity to share something that I'm really passionate about. So, um, the first thing that I want you to do, and this is the first where I started, was I started to um, notice how I felt after I ate something. And this was something that before I didn't think about, and I would just eat and I would get tired and, you know, cycles like that would happen and I just didn't pay attention. But once I started focusing on it, I was like, okay, well, after I eat a hamburger, I'm tired. You know, after I eat, you know, something with a lot, a lot of carbs, like, I just want to, you know, go to sleep. So that's not really good if all you feel like is going to sleep and you have to study. So it's not really going to help you. So um, what I did and what I've been doing over the last five to seven years is I've been finding foods that fuel me, that give me energy, and don't make me sleepy and nourish my body. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So my whole process is like this. I usually pack three lunches at a time. So I have to find foods that are going to last three days. And I have gone through a lot of things. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll get to that third day and I'm like, wow, you know, a lot of this isn't good. So in order to not waste any money and to nourish my body in the best way, I'll show you what I use and these things will last three days. So um, I begin my morning, um, I drink some Nani juice and I do a little yoga, like 20 minute um, stretching routine with a video. And um, then I go to work, I do have one cup of coffee and um, I have that on my way to work. When I get to work, for breakfast, I usually have an avocado with an egg or two, some, depending on how hungry I am. Maybe two eggs if I'm really hungry. And it depends on what time I get to eat breakfast. If I don't get to eat breakfast until like 10 or 11, I'm eating those two eggs. <laughs> but if I eat at like 8 or 9, maybe just one egg. The eggs that I get are um, organic ones. It does. I buy these from Publix. You can buy them from anywhere. But um, I figured, you know, the... Cheap ones to organic ones are just a few dollars difference, and probably the organic ones are a lot better for you, so I just use organic. The next thing I do is usually um, an hour or two later, I'm hungry again, and so I will have a snack. The snack consists of a banana and nuts. The nuts that I use, I do buy these from um, Whole Foods. They are a little on the pricey side. I'm not sure. I started this, you know, when I was working, so I'm not sure if I could have afforded this in nursing school, but um, we'll see if you can. If not, maybe just some mixed nuts would be good with the banana. But I use the 365 Whole Foods brand of macadamia nuts, um, whole organic almonds, whole cashews, and, oh, there's another one I forgot the back, um, whole pecans. And I mix those all together in like a big jar and just have a few with a banana. And those two things in the morning, the banana and nuts and the avocado and eggs, those last me for a long time. Like I feel like they really like stabilize my system. Also at this point, I usually um, have a green powder drink. And I have been drinking this green powder for um, probably going on five years. Um, I, I love it. I, I can't really live without it. I, it's just amazing. Um, this, it's called, this is what I use. It's called Green Superfood from Amazing Grass. And this has a lot of vegetables in it. Let me see if it says it. Oh, there's like so many vegetables. And a lot of grasses, which are supposed to, like wheatgrass, barley grass, stuff like that, which are supposed to have tons of nutrients. Um, I do mix it in a little bottle of water. And just shake it up and drink it. And um, it does have a little bit of green tea in there, so maybe a little bit of, you know, caffeine. It, it, I don't know. This stuff is great. It makes me feel really good. And I, I feel like it kind of cleans out your system too. 
So, um, for snacks in between those, I usually have some blueberries, or sometimes strawberries, but strawberries don't always last. So, blueberries will definitely last the three days. So, it's almost lunchtime, and for lunch, I have a salad. This is my salad. Organic greens, and I get the baby spring mix. I used to, you know, buy heads of lettuce and cut my own lettuce, but I found that this will last three, sometimes five days. So it's worth it for me, and it's much easier because I don't have to cut anything. So it's worth it for me just to get this, and this is this is what I consider my salad. I don't put any other vegetables on it. The only additional thing that I do is I buy vine ripe tomatoes, but I put it whole in my bag and I cut the tomato as I um, eat the uh, lettuce with the tomato. And then it depends on how hungry I am. Um, Sometimes I add a piece of bread to that. I always have it with me just in case I'm really hungry. But I really enjoy this bread I get from Whole Foods. I usually buy two to three loaves at a time and I just put it in the freezer and it lasts forever. But this is called Early Bird Seed Bread. First of all, I like the name of it, Early Bird. <laughs> and then the multi-seed bread, it's, it's delicious. It's got all kinds of seeds in it. It tastes wonderful and it really fills you up. So this for the salad is good. Um, in addition to that, I don't put any dressing on the salad. Here's what I do. I um, get a hummus. And this is the hummus that I like a lot. It's called sun-dried tomato hummus. And it's from Publix. Um, but if you have regular hummus, that's fine too. And then I mix the hummus with this. It's called Udo's oil. And Udo's oil is supposed to be the perfect blend of omega-3 fatty acids. And I use the one that says... Supports cognitive function and eye health. <laughs> I just think that's cool. Okay, so in the afternoon, what I will do is, if I have any, oh wait, if I'm really hungry, I always have a yogurt with me, one of those like Greek yogurts, and I might mix some nuts with that. But I, I eat that maybe like once a week, just if I'm really, really hungry, if I did a lot of running that day. So to finish it off, on my way home when I'm driving, I always eat a grapefruit. I eat a grapefruit like most people eat oranges. I just cut it up and just eat it slice by slice. Now a lot of people can't stomach that, but I want to encourage you to try it. Because a lot of you might not know that a lot of grapefruits are very sweet and once you get used to it, it's not sour. And I don't use any sugar. I know a lot of people put sugar on it. Nothing. It is an amazing snack and it makes me feel so refreshed. It's, it's very hydrating and it helps me finish the day off really strong. So at dinner time, um, I usually just make a little salad. My husband has to have meat so I usually um, might make a little chicken and put that in the salad. But if it were just me, I'd probably just eat salad. <laughs> with like avocado. So I think that sums it up. Again, thank you so much for asking this question. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, like I said, these are foods that helped me when I was in nursing school. And when, when I graduated, I was like, well, I might as well keep doing what's working. And my diet has changed so much over the course of years. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about cravings. So, this is one of my pet peeves, but not much I can do about it. You know, a lot of people are so appreciative of the good work that we do as nurses and even nursing students, and they want to do something for us, and there's not really much that they can do. So, what do they do? They bring in some Dunkin' Donuts or muffins or, you know, something like that. Anything really carby, really sugary. And my whole strategy with that is I can have whatever I want. I just have to eat my salad first, or I just have to eat my banana and nuts first, or I just have to eat my avocado and eggs first. So I never say I can't have something, it's just I've got to eat my healthy foods first and then I can have it. Um, what, I've done, what I've realized in that strategy is that after you eat you know, the healthy foods, you're usually feeling much better and you won't eat as much of the sugary foods. So this is how I stop myself from eat, drinking soda, and this is how I stop myself from eating a lot of sweets. So um, I hope it works for you. 
The other thing to keep your energy levels up is you do have to exercise. And um, for girls, this won't be a problem, but I do think that aerobic exercise is the best. Walking, jogging, I use the elliptical. Um, for guys, I don't know, weight training maybe. I don't really do a lot of weight, so maybe that'll help. Um, the other thing that a lot of people overlook is stretching. Stretching is so important. Um, when I was in nursing school, like I would stand up, um, you know, if there was like a little break, and I would just go to the wall and I would just stretch. You know, I, I've been an athlete my whole life. My parents had me in figure skating, ballet, um, to name a few. And um, so stretching does just come naturally for me. Um, a lot of people make fun of me. They're like, there's Caroline stretching again. But, you know, whatever. It, it's, it's a good thing. And even while I'm at work, I will put my butt up against the wall and I'll start stretching. Because it just helps the blood flow get to, you know, every organ and cell in your body. And it just helps re-energize you. So, thank you so much for watching. Sorry this is a little bit longer of a video, but it's really important. And I hope you watched the whole thing. And if you're listening to this now, you did. So, yay! Good job. And um, guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel right here. <laughs> and then, um, you know, make a comment or send me an email at empower.rn at gmail.com. Guys, I love opening my inbox and seeing so many emails. It's just like lights up my day. You have no idea. Even if I can't write you back that same day, believe me, like I read it and I start thinking about what I'm going to say to you because sometimes I just, you know, open my phone when I'm, you know, just eating lunch or whatever, but I can't really write you back that second. But it does, again, light up my day and I will um, write you back on my next day out. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.